And welcome back to Notre Dame Day. I'm Colleen Wilcox. Notre Dame has established itself as a training ground for future doctors. Nearly 1% actually of all doctors in the United States get an undergraduate degree right here from the University of Notre Dame. And the university has also become very well known for rare disease research, thanks to the efforts of the Bowler Persigian Center for Rare and Neglected Diseases, the Era Persigian Medical Research Fund, and many research labs on campus. Notre Dame's newest contribution to healthcare is patient advocacy. And joining us next to discuss the patient advocacy initiative is Barbara Calhoun and Sean Casson. Barbara is the Reisenauer Family Director for the Patient Advocacy Initiative and the Director of the Minor in Science and Patient Advocacy. Sean Casson is the Director of the Era Parsegian Medical Research Fund. First of all, welcome to Notre Dame Day, Barbara and Sean. We're very happy to Thank have you. you. Thank you. And first of all, Barbara, what is a patient advocate and why are they so important? So in general, um, a patient advocate is a professional who provides services for patients and families as, as they navigate through the healthcare complexities, whether it be insurance or otherwise. But what we're focusing on is rare disease patients. So there is an incredible burden, um, not only um, with all the unknowns, but you know, generally what they go through. So like a rare disease is um, any disease that affects less than 200,000. And there are 7,000 rare diseases, but very few people have a rare disease of, of each of those. So there are a lot of burdens that they have, including a long time to diagnosis because the doctors have never seen the disease. We have limited number of researchers and limited number of specialists, and oftentimes families have to go out of state to get the care that they need um, where the specialists are. And even after all of that, only uh, there are only 5% of all rare diseases have an approved treatment. So they are up against a lot of roadblocks. And so we, we have strived to get students at Notre Dame um, trained to um, be advocates for rare disease community. Yeah, that is very important work. Thank you for everything yeah. that you do. Can you talk a little bit more about the patient advocacy initiative at Notre Dame and, and how yeah. you're really training students for this really important field? So it's the, the patient advocacy initiative was established on the foundation of the research that was going on in the Bowler Parsegian um, Center for Rare and Neglected Diseases. And in 2008 or 9, it started researching one rare disease, Neiman Pick type C. Currently, they study 21 diseases. So we have in our lap the opportunity to increase patient engagement with students. So we started a minor in science and patient advocacy in 2021. And we have uh, multiple entities that, that comprise this minor, but we teach students to read patient medical records in order to understand the symptoms of disease and how they progress over time. We have students partner with patients and learn their experience of living with the disease and raise awareness through storytelling. We partner with patient service organizations. We have guest lectures in class. I mean, patients are the experts, so we have them in class to actually, you know, teach the students what it really is to have a rare disease. So we have you know, clinicians, all these other uh, entities that come into class. We also have two um, events, that we, one in the fall, the Patient Advocacy Summit, and then we have celebrate Rare Disease Day um, in February. And I just feel like with all of that, we're, we are training and providing students with the skills they need to be effective patient advocates. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Sean, Cindy Persigian has appeared, of course, on our broadcast for many years talking about Neiman Pick type C disease and, of course, the impact on her family. And this year, we're running a special spot about the impact on how funds raised uh, for the Era Persigian Medical Research Fund will be used to advance MPC disease research. Research. So um, on the topic of supporting research, what does the Persigian Fund do in the area of patient advocacy? Well, what I think is important to know is that Cindy and Mike Parsegian were patient advocates first. You know, here you have this couple with, a uh, young couple with three uh, children just 
diagnosed with this very awful rare disease. And, you know, they have to navigate that in a world where this is back in 1994 and nobody knew anything about NPC and even pick type C disease. So even before they founded their foundation, you know, they were, they knew this was going to be critically important for the research effort. So when they founded the foundation, it primarily is focused on research, but we definitely have an advocacy arm because we know that's part of the process. Um, and so now today when patients and uh, families are diagnosed with this rare disease, they can look to us and other organizations and we can help them guide them on, um, you know, guide them on this, this journey that they're going to have. And one thing I'll just always say is it's important to keep the patient voice first. So whenever we're looking at things that we're going to be supporting research-wise, where is this going to advance treatments for patients with NPC and especially you know, uh, advanced treatments for, you know, the, you know, what is most important for those patients. Yeah, and then continuing on from, from that question, your response, so how does the Parsegian Fund work with the Patient Advocacy Program Initiative here at Notre Dame? So we work with multiple ways. Um, Barb is phenomenal at her role phenomenal. there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, first, as she mentioned, you know, just in engaging families and patients with the students is critical. Mm -hmm. So there's opportunities every year to be able to do that. And um, so what we do is, you know, at our class, we just, you know, bring families in, they engage with them there, they engage with them at some of these advocacy events that, that she mentioned. They also work at some of the clinical data that, um, that, uh, that Barbara was mentioning. It's gonna be very important for them to learn that going forward. You know, in every patient that's diagnosed, that data that they have is extremely valuable. And so we try to teach students that that's really important and just giving them that real world experience. Mm -hmm. And then of course we partner on, on multi of these avi multiple advocacy events throughout the year. Oh, that is yeah. wonderful to hear. And final question, Barbara and Sean, rare disease groups uh, do very well at fundraising during Notre Dame Day. So can you tell mm -hmm. us what each of your organizations are raising money for specifically? Well, I guess I'll go first. Yeah. I mean, well, first, thanks to everybody that's supporting us. It's been absolutely phenomenal that, that turnout. Um, but it's simple. We raise money to find treatments and ultimately a cure for this disease. So every dollar that we raise, not only is it going to be matched, but it's going to go right back out to support research. Uh, we're very hopeful that we might have one, possibly two therapies approved for the first time in the United States. Hopefully in the fall, we'll have a big party. Wow, that's incredible. And, um, <laughs> but also we're supporting that, you know, trying to get that over the goal line, but also the next generation of therapies that we think will be that game changer or that cure that uh, families need. And I'm here to represent the Bowler Parsegian Center for Rare and Neglected Diseases, as well as the Patient Advocacy Initiative. And I just want to say that I'm here for all rare disease patients that need us, and we're so grateful for the funds and donations that they have given, as, as well as the donors. And without them, we would not have this program. So we are really excited about the future, and we're here for them. Yeah, well, I just want to thank you two so much for all the incredible work that you do. And thank you for joining us here in Notre Dame thank Day you. as well. Thanks for being here. All yeah. right, thank you. And don't go away. Coming up next is an exciting dance performance by the Vietnamese Student Association. Stay with us.